it seems like every day there's a new tool or a new software platform or a new social media app. And the pace of change is absolutely overwhelming. And so how do you decide which tools and which trends deserve your attention and resources and which ones don't? I've developed a three-part strategy that lets me keep up with the change and keep focused on my business. The first part of the strategy is staying ahead of the curve, reading, reading, reading. There's no single expert in the field, so I have lots of websites I check out on a regular basis. The second piece is evaluation. When I find a new software tool that piques my curiosity, I switch over into evaluation mode. I dive into reading product reviews and searching for discussions on Twitter and LinkedIn. And then I kick the tires for myself to see if the product works the way the developers say it will. I look at how will this addition fit with the rest of my marketing program. And this is where, quite honestly, many exciting ideas get sidelined. Because even if a tool is great, if it doesn't fit with everything else you're doing, it's not a great fit for you. And finally, the last piece is embracing that new product or tool and really making a decision to go big or go home. Because if you're not going to commit the resources and the energy to being successful with that new tool, it's not worth playing. If you've enjoyed today's conversation, if you'd like to find longer episodes of More Than A Few Words, be sure to look for this podcast wherever you listen to podcasts.